Exercise 10, Creo Parametric 4.0. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at modifying this to uh, support design changes. If you look in the manual, page 97, you actually see a red line of markup drawing with the instructions on what you need to do. We're going to start off by, um, first of all, on the list, one of the things was to put a lens in here for an LCD display. So we're going to drop it in on that circuit board. So when we do that, first of all, we need to, first of all, create it. So we go to create, and we'll just call this the LCD E10. Hit OK, and we'll import that in, and automatically go set it to default. Hit the apply button, and now we have it in the feature tree, which we could right click on and activate it. At this point, we could go to extrude and drop our feature on the circuit board. So we select inside there on that floor. I'm going to use the concentric circle and snap to that inner edge, make it equal, and hit OK. We can see it's extruding, but it's going to remain flat unless we select a different option from here. We actually want to extrude it up to a surface. Now I can select the surface, and we get a preview of it conforming to that surface. Go ahead and hit apply. And the LCD is complete, so we could right click on the top of the feature tree and reactivate the part. The next thing or item we need to do is we need to put a complete this hinge here. You can see there's an opening for a hole that would support a boss that would allow this case to open up. So to do this, we have to edit this part. So click on the red part and go to activate. Now you could go to extrude and select this little flat face down here. And then we're going to go to wireframe. Uh, better yet, let's go to hidden lines. There we go. And we can see a little bit better. And again, go with the circle and go with the concentric circle and make it the equal size. Note that in real life you would probably put a couple thousands offset on that for t the tolerance. Hit OK. And then in this case, we're in meters, so we're going to squeeze it down to 0.004 meters. If you are in inches, if you got the inches part or version, make sure you set it to 0.125. Hit the green check. And we can now go back to shaded with edges. There is a way to actually set models typically if they're in one versus the other, one format versus the other. And that's under the file and options. Uh, not options, I sorry, file and prepare, and there's model properties. Currently, you'll know it's grayed out. Um, unfortunately, with um, this is an imported file, it's a granite file, and the change is not supported, so we actually have to scale it. Um, or actually, uh, we don't even need to scale it actually, it's just a metric, but we could always convert the, the parameters. Okay, so moving along here, um, we're going to go ahead and activate the E10, the top of the tree again. Now let's flip this around, and I'm going to turn off some of these uh, planes so we don't see them. And we're going to take off, or hide I should say, this backside panel, because we want to insert the battery. Now, if the battery was given to you in the file that you're working on, you could just use the AA battery. Otherwise, find a AA battery and measure it and model it and then bring it in. There's actually inside the Vertani One webpage, if you go to the parts list, you'll see the part files there. There's an E10 AA battery drawing, which gives you the parameters for one. But I already have one built, so I'm going to go ahead and just assemble it. And I have mine in another folder here. And I'm going to grab that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select this, the length of the actual battery, and select this red cradle here to lock it in. And then the back side and to this contact here. And hit the green check. Okay, so we got that in position. Now we're going to go ahead and bring back the backside part so we could show that. 
Now, the instructions are we want to get rid of this belt buckle and put that in separately. So let's go ahead and right cl uh, click on this part and actually open it. Find the open button. And we could op open it up by itself. So first of all, let's get rid of that buckle. We could just select this face, go to extrude, and either a rectangle or a circle, whatever you'd prefer, draw a rectangle to surround that area. And now we could just hit OK and select Remove Material, and it's gone. Now we could go ahead and shell this out. We're going to go to the Shell command, and we want it actually to be 0.03. 003 if you're in meters. If you are in inches, it should be approximately 0.1 thick. Go ahead and hit the apply button. Now we're going to put a lip around here. So go ahead and select this face, go to extrude, and we're going to use the offset tool. And select loop in the upper right corner, and select this face and hit next until you see the out, outer edge light up in blue and then you could accept that. Now you can see mine's going inward and that's exactly how we need it. If your arrow's pointing outward, you're going to have to type in a negative number. But since it's going inward on mine, I don't have to do that. So I'm going to type in point zero zero one five, And it would be point zero five if you are in inches. Okay, and from here now, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. We can see it's extruding it. The height is only supposed to be 0.1 inches, or in this case, 0 0.003 meters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the thickened sketch. And with the thickened sketch, make it 0 0.0015. And it would be 0 0.05 inches and you could hit apply and so there's our lip okay the other things we need to put in here are there's a little battery cradle that's going to help secure it to the battery on both sides so uh, let's go back to the assembly to work on this we could just go right up here and find the e10 assembly and i'm going to hide the red part temporarily and now we could see there this is the battery cradle right here on the circuit board we're going to edit this part, so click on this part and click on Activate. And now we can select the floor of that part and select Start a Sketch. You're going to want to go to Hidden Lines. And here is the battery, and we actually see the cradle supporting it right here. And we're going to go ahead and match that up. So we're going to go with the Corner Rectangle tool. In this upper left corner, click and drag this out right about there. We're just making a, they're going to be a hundred thousandths in size. We'll make this one equal. See the little equal symbol? Get equal. So they're both the equal length. And this is going to be point zero. <coughs> we'll do the 60% rule. So point zero zero two for plastics. Okay. And go ahead and hit OK. Now let's go back to shaded with edges. And now we actually want just to extrude those up to the cradle edge of the circuit board. So select this option right here, up to edge. And you can select this edge of the cradle. If you're looking in there, that's the battery. It takes a while to ascertain what you're looking at. But go ahead and apply that. You still might notice that it needs the scallop cutouts to cradle the battery on this. So select this face and go to extrude. Once again, go to hidden lines and now we're going to go ahead and draw a concentric circle on the largest radius that you could see here because that should be the cradle on the other side. We want it to be the same size. And now we have our circle. We could go to shaded with edges once again to see this a little clearer. And we're going to cut right through that. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to flip the direction and select Remove Material. And look at that. We have our scallop cutouts appearing. Hit Apply. 
and we used virtually no dimensions on this. We stole the information from the other the surrounding geometry, and it's virtually perfect. So now let's bring back. Uh, we'll edit or activate the assembly and show that part on the top there. Okay, now this part again. Let's go ahead and work on that. Go back to open on the back side. Um, actually, we are we are done. I'm sorry. So bring that back, and that completes this exercise.